look at that bitch for you. Welcome to another edition of Don Alfin on Fishing. <laughs> We're at it uh, in uh, Flaming Gorge today looking to find some rainbows. And I'm here with Colton Christensen. He's got one up to the... Oh, look at this nice one. Holy cow, what a beautiful rainbow. That is a dandy fish. Look at that fish. <laughs> hey, and, and Colton, I'm going to turn the time over to you and have you tell us what you're using. You're using a brand new bait. Now let's go ahead and get focused in on that one and you can talk for a second. This is the chartreuse loony bait. A loony bait. That's fantastic. I know it comes in. I know you're putting out a kit. And I call it the loony bin, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know what you're officially going to call it, but that's awesome. Yeah, we've got about 20 different colors in this. And, yeah. Uh, and we're using all of them. We're, they work good. Fantastic. Now, that that one came a dead stick in it, right? Yep. Fantastic. Okay, sit back and relax and enjoy this episode of Don Alfin on Fishing with Colton Christensen on uh, Flaming Gorge, fishing all types of tackle for rainbows. So neither one uh, of us, uh, neither Colton uh, or, or I, have uh, uh, been out fishing specifically for rainbows uh, this year on the ice. And so, uh, and so uh, if you can look out there, I don't know if you can see it really well. I'm looking into the sun, but, but it still should be able to see. We've got, you can have six rods uh, each. Uh, uh, on Flaming Gorge for the ice and so what we've done is we started in an area right out here with about 38 feet of water and uh, and from there we we've uh, drilled a few holes I've put my finder in in the hole we've had uh, actually one real good school of fish come through they actually might have been kokanee because they only lasted just a little bit and none of them touched our uh, our uh, lures that we are specifically going for rainbows with so uh, but that's really all and so what we've done is is now if you I'll spin around and show you towards the shoreline so now we've gone about 35 to 40 yards actually um, from where we've drilled our first holes to uh, towards the bank and that uh, if you can look out there and see my auger out there that's 17 feet of water so we've got from 38 feet out here to 17 feet in there and somewhere in between there there should be some fish and uh, and Colton got his nice rainbow at 38 feet but he was only down about 10 feet under the surface so it wasn't all the way to the bottom so he, so he was he was fishing a fish that was just suspended in the column so now that's what we're going to be doing now is we're moving a little bit moving some of our uh, uh, rods and tackle into the shallows to see if we can intercept these fish at some point. <laughs> All right, hey, hey, let's see what we got here. That's nice oh, that's a nice cutthroat. Beautiful fish. And he came on the, the bubble gum. Bubble gum loony. Bubble gum loony. Awesome. He was not hooked that. Not hooked very well. <laughs> Go ahead and get him back in there, and you got a good picture of him? Good job. Can't keep a good man down, like I always say. Good job, Colton. Well, that one here coming up. Don't know how big he is. It feels really good. Oh, yeah, look at that baby. Look at that baby. Wow, look at that sucker. Beautiful rainbow. Phenomenal rainbow. <laughs> and my phone's ringing, but I think I'll let that go. I think this is more important. What a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. That fish came on the, the good old loony bait. I'm going to get that put back in there in a minute, but... For right now, I'm going to show you the loony bait. So there it is. Got a, just a gorgeous little head on it. Uh, Colton Christensen sells both the, the jig heads and the, the loony baits, both on his site and in, the, and in Sportsman's and other great tackle uh, stores all over Wyoming and Utah and other places. 
And uh, all I've done is I just tipped it with a little bit of um, power bait, kind of a kind of a uh, oh I don't know I guess it's just it's just a glitter power bait. Just put a little tiny, 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 tiny ball of of that uh, style. Just called it's just called yellow glitter, and uh, and that was what that fish wanted. I'm just getting ready to pack it in for tonight, so I only have two rods in, and just watching my finder and watching these fish come in and out, and, and uh, so it's been a it's been a good day. I love it. It's been wonderful weather. Um, I've talked to several people out here that have not caught very many fish at all today, so so um, I feel really really blessed that that we've got four on the ice and. And uh, Colton had to leave a little bit earlier, but but uh, we've we've had a good day and a fun day just just uh, trying some new things. We really didn't have a lot of fish on our finder today. That's been our biggest biggest challenge. Just getting set up here. This is day two of my rainbow adventure. Colton couldn't come today, and and so I just. Decided to come out and kind of do, just trying to work around the area that we're in. We're right next to the Buckboard Marina and just seeing if there's anything here. And I just looked down for a second as I'm getting ready to put in another rod and I had a, I had a little bit of a tap, but it didn't materialize. So I'm just getting set up. So you can see I've got three rods out in front of me. Both, uh, all three of those rods are on the bottom. And then I've got three rods that I'm going to set up here, right where I'm going to be. And that way I can see everything. I'll put bells on the rods out front. And, uh, and then I'll be able to monitor all of the rods from here. I've got my back to the wind, a little bit of a north uh, west wind right now. So I'm putting my back to the wind. And uh, no need for a tent, I don't think. It's pretty, it's pretty uh, uh, comfortable out here. It's just that about every five to ten minutes, we've got to make sure we clear the ice out of the out of the holes. So that's what we're doing, and excited to be here. Okay, a fish just came on the screen, so I'm pulling up to it, see if we can get some interest. Got a hit. Got him. Got it. Whatever it is. Ooh, seems like a pretty nice fish if I can get it out. Oh yeah, <laughs> and it got it back. What a great little fish. That was super. Oh my gosh, what a fun fish. That was a nice rainbow. Came up, up one and right down the other hole. <laughs> I love it. Rainbow. That rainbow came on the... Um, uh, the loony bait uh, chartreuse the same as we as we did yesterday so so that's a hot bait right now so chartreuse remember chartreuse because um, we did catch one on the on the pink um, uh, loony bait and uh, I caught one last evening on the white that didn't make the uh, video but but uh, all the other uh, fish that we caught yesterday were were caught on the chartreuse uh, loony bait so um, just just kind of an interesting little tidbit. Got a hit. Needs to come back. Oh, missed him. There, I got him. Feels like another good one. Oh boy, I don't know if I can get him out of the hole. He's a dandy. Wow, how's that for a nice rainbow? Oh my goodness, look at that baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of blood there. I may have to keep this one, but what a fish. Oh my goodness. 
That's a dandy rainbow. I don't know how he got all bloody, but there he has that good old chartreuse loony bait is a winner. Got another fish just came on the screen. Seeing if I can get it hooked. You know, it's it's really funny. They come so fast. They come in really fast, and I see the mark, and then then almost as fast as I can get up to them, uh, they're gone. And uh, sometimes they come back. Sometimes they don't. But boy, if, if you're not watching your finder, practically all the time you're out here, uh, I'm I'm absolutely positive you'll be missing fish. It's really funny how, f how fish in the water column change their behaviors. Uh, yesterday, most of our fish came between 10 and 15 feet. Um, and today, every bite I've had has, has been at 25 feet. So what that means is, is that if you're, if you're putting an array of rods out, you, you, once you figure out that they're, that they're basically only going to be in 25 feet of water, then put, uh, you know, set a rod a little bit deeper than 25, maybe 27, 28, and then a little shallower, maybe 20 to 22. And if you do that, then you're, then you're capitalizing on the fact that there's not huge schools in here right now, but there's plenty of fish. They just seem to, uh, to, to come in and out like they're just uh, running around just searching for a little, little bite to eat. So um, that's, a, that's a little tip that I, that I use uh, once I figure out the depth that the fish are. It's no different than when you're fishing for kokanee or anything else that you're doing. If you find the, the right depth and you see the schools at a certain depth, then that's where you want to target. And that's, how, that's at least how I ice fish for rainbows. Well, thanks for watching <clears throat> another episode of Don Alfin on Fishing. You know, the last couple of days, um, I've, I, I, I wanted to highlight uh, some brand new baits that are just coming out. Ned's Bait Box, uh, Lakeshore Tackle, Colton Christensen, my good friend, um, has brought out some, some lures that, I, that are just going to be great for all kinds of fish, but particularly in ice fishing, uh, trout, any kind of trout, uh, we had happened to be targeting rainbows the last couple of days, and um, and you know it was a really slow bite. But I'll tell you what, if we could get the fish to come uh, into the finder, we could catch them, and that's the most beautiful thing in the world. I'm going to call this a loony bin because uh, Colton has a a, a a kit that he sells, um, uh, both for the lingdingers and for and for uh, the grubs, and also for the these. Um, these baits, the loonies, and uh, so if you look at them, you've got everything from, I call this birthday cakes, what I call it, but, uh, and then uh, bubble gum, and, and then you've got your, the one that's been the hottest one the last couple of days for us, and that's this chartreuse uh, green, and, um, and, but they've got, he's got up to, I think he's got over 20 colors, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, and then we're just using these uh, jig heads. If I can pull one of these out and, and show you, they're really beautiful. He, he's got, he's got the, this one happens to be an orange that I can trying to get out there. There's an orange one. And, um, and so they're, they're great. Now these are not, um, to, to my knowledge, they're not glow. This is not a, we're not trying to catch burbot with these, with these, but, um, but they're beautiful, beautiful baits, and uh, and I just think the world of uh, of of the way that uh, that Lakeshore Tackle and Ned's Bait Box has has grown and has been willing to listen to its to its uh, customers and and kind of uh, uh, you know work on produ producing new products that that people really need and want, and uh, I'm excited. So so. Um, I just wanted to show you uh, some video on rainbows, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please contact me with any questions, any comments, and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks again for watching.